okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we are going to go ahead and start these other signs for you today so today we're going to start with the fire signs because the fire signs seems to come up quite a lot in you guys is reading all right so i will time stamp these let me just run this down versus fire so let's start with leo then we have Aries, and then we have Sag. So, let's see what's going on with you on this fire sign. Now, you and the fire sign, it could be anybody, right? It doesn't have to always be a love interest, guys, right? You know your story. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a co-worker, right? This could be somebody that you have your eye on, Virgos, right? Take your heart, it resonates. Um, now, it also is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So... If you are interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. So let's jump into this. So let's start with a Moonology card. So for my Virgos that are dealing with a Leo spirit, thank you. What is the energy? Virgos dealing with a Leo. What do we have? We have one Moonology card. I do hope that everybody is well. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, so do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. One card for my Virgos dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. So the first card coming out here is step out of your comfort zone. Hmm. So I don't know if somebody wants to approach somebody here or somebody has something to say to someone else, but hmm, step out of your comfort zone. Not doing it, right? This is somebody not budging. So just in case it is a romantic situation, let's get a romance card. For my Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Is the energy here? What is the energy? Show me. Oh, trust. I see you wanting to turn over there. These cards always try to come out in bulk. I don't know why. Maybe I need a new deck. Yeah, look at this. Too many. We have. I don't say I don't know if somebody wants to reach out to someone because you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and then you have enjoyed the bliss of holiday time together. So somebody does want to spend time with somebody here, but again, it could be this energy of pride and ego, right? Just one card. Thank you, Spirit. I get just one. Some of Virgos that may be dealing with a Leo. Thank you, show me. That one is still two. <laughs> soulmate and stay optimistic. So some of you may be dealing with a soulmate or somebody that you just have a really good connection with. But again, right, that control inside of things. Somebody not willing to... Almost let their guard down, right? Express themselves. Show how they really feel. You have children. Oh, okay. So it says your love life is being affected by children. So this could be somebody that you have children with. Maybe somebody I almost wanted to say is stuck in a situation with children, right? Um, maybe that could be a barrier for some of you in terms of you guys coming together. Give me one card. Yeah, look at this. Marriage and child. Is somebody here married? There's a third party situation, Virgos. What's going on? Thief. Look at that. Hmm. All right, Spirit. One card for my Virgos that are dealing with a Leo. Look at that concern at the bottom of the deck. One card. Thank you. What do we have? journey number 10 hmm. now tends to me is always an energy of you know something here may be coming to an end so for some of you i am hearing the end of waiting 
So some of you could have been waiting for this person. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, but what do I see behind it? The Seven of Swords. And what is that behind that? The Emperor. Again, with this controlling energy here. Right? Some of you are dealing with a Leo who likes to be boss. And it's just period <laughs> right they like to be in charge they like to be seen they like things to go their way and that is just that hmm. i'm hearing the word stubborn okay so give me a message for my virgos that are dealing with a leo thank you spirit what is the energy between the two pentacles in she came out in reverse <laughs> okay so the queen of pentacles in reverse usually she can to me okay it could be an energy of for some of you right it may be that maybe this leo makes you feel unstable ungrounded upside down at times right you don't know whether you're coming or you're going with this person for some of you but we'll see why the Queen of Pentacles is out here. Because for some of you, I did say that I don't know if this Leo, or it could be you, Virgo, right, that is maybe attached to somebody else. Queen of Pentacles can be a wife, right? She is the mother of the deck. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can usually be somebody who is greedy, who is materialistic. But let's see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? My Virgo is dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Wow. Is my cards the right way up? They are. They are. They are. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know if some of you feel like if you were dealing with a Leo, like you just feel like at times, like, you know what? This situation is just hopeless. Something may not be working out. You may have tried and tried. What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Judgment and the Ten of Swords, yeah. I just feel like some, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you may just feel like, you know, maybe you're making a final decision to end this situation, right? I don't know if you guys are dealing with a Leo that has betrayed you some way, somehow, with the Ten of Swords here. It talks about being stabbed in the back again. This is giving me the energy of feeling down and out, like somebody just can't put the fight into this situation anymore. What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Judgment? Now, the Judgment can talk about reconciliation, but I feel like this is somebody making a final call. What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the judgment? Show me. Oh, my Virgo is dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. The Star card. Now, the Star card does talk about healing a situation. King of Swords. Why is the Star card? Some of you, this may be a marriage. Maybe you're married to this person. Wow, look at the Star card. Look at the, um, look at the Star card. Look at the Nine of Pentacles wanting to um, fall out there. And it's funny because I was looking at the eight of the pentacles and the pentacle that the queen of pentacles is in, has in her hand, which brings me to the nine of pentacles. I feel like someone here has really fought really long and hard about, hey, do you know what, being single, freeing themselves from this situation, or you already have, right? And it could be time to heal yourself with a star card. Now, it could be this Leo wanting to come back in and heal things with you, right? What is the eight of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords? The hanged man. One more. Mm. Coming out sideways was a blockage. Some of you, this person may have put you in a third party situation, which may have been the betrayal here, right? This may have been somebody who had maybe done this more than once, right? Hence the Eight of Pentacles, again, giving me that energy of somebody here really tried to work things out, really tried to put the hard work into a situation. 
Um, for some of you, I'm even getting this energy where someone here, you or the Leo, right, may have even had some kind of, I don't know, relations with somebody at work or something like that. Um, a three of cups. Now, usually the three of cups was about having something to celebrate. No, I feel like somebody was celebrating. <laughs> I just don't know if they were celebrating with the right person. Some of you may have found this Leo was a little bit maybe flirty, very free with their, um, I was going to say very free with their time, but yeah, let me just word it like that. <laughs> I'm hearing for some of you, this is a Leo who like to, you know, soil their royal oats. Okay. Now each to their own. But hey, if you're going to do things like that, you're going to put people in a third party situation. Let them know about it, right? Let's see what else is going on. So Spirit, show me going forward. Show me going forward. I see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, though. Ooh, Three of Swords. Okay. And there's my forever card. So this is giving me instantly of dreams shattered. Some of you may have thought like you would spend forever with this Leo. Or well, they told you that you, we, you, know, you guys would. But the three of swords with the two of swords is the five of swords. This is a Leo who would tell you anything. Tell you what you want to hear. If you want to hear that we're going to get married and we're going to be together forever. And we're going to have kids and you know. And that's what they're going to tell you. <laughs> now, going forward, that King of Swords wants to show his face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is this Three of Swords and the Two of Swords and my Forever card? Some of you may, going forward, may block this person. Yeah, look at this. Right, you may already have the Chariot. Look at that, in reverse. There's no movement forward for some of you here. Now, again, this is not going to be for everyone. But then we have the Five of Wands, which talks about conflict, it talks about chaos, it talks about drama, it talks about jealousy, it talks about there being too many people involved here. And yep, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is my non-committal energy. This is, I'm going to go wherever I want to, whenever I want to, right? This is someone with an attitude. Me, 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 and me. What I want to do with who I want to do it. But if I have to whisper sweet nothings in your ears so you don't go anywhere, then, then that's what I'll have to do, right? Some of you, this may have been somebody that you've been dealing with for a while. Maybe it's difficult for you to move away from this person. Maybe you have become very complacent with this person and their behavior. Well, if that's the case and someone here needs to ask themselves, is this what I want for myself? Forever? I'm hearing forever, ever? Forever, ever? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. You hear that? The three of swords and the five and the two of swords which brings the five of swords. I apologize a trillion times. If I have to apologize a trillion times, but if somebody is learning something, they wouldn't have to apologize that many times, right? This is somebody who has got into a way of behaving. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, Virgos, right? With that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you may be in a situation where you just don't really know your worth here, right? And you may be allowing this person to get away with this behavior. All right, so that was Leo. <laughs> Let's move on to Aries. For those of you that are dealing with an Aries. Let's get some fresh cards. Aries. So let's say 14. Let's say 15. All right. <laughs> So for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries spirit, thank you. What is the energy here? 
My Virgo is dealing with an Aries. That was messy. I'm hearing the name Jess <laughs> or Jesse. I'm hearing the name Jess or even Jessica. Oh, my Virgo is dealing with an Aries. All right, it's, I'm shuffling for a long time. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Give me a card. For my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy between the two? Thank you. Oh, nice. So flying out here is a personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. Now, this could be, for some reason, is standing out to me. This could be something that happens in cancer season. And I believe we are in cancer season right now. <laughs> right now. Okay. So for those of you that this is a love relationship, let's get a romance card. My Virgos that are dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. That has too many, Spirit. Reconciliation, but pay attention to the red flags. Free yourself and very soon. Wow, okay. We just need one. That's a lot. <laughs> My Virgos dealing with an Aries. one card can i get one I'm, oh, i can get two it was in the reverse though but we don't really take these in the reverse but we do bear it in mind so we have new love and then we have let your friends help you so it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and then you have asked for support asks and asks for and accept support from others but they were in the reverse Why do I feel like for some of you, okay, thank you, hmm, children, again, so some of you may have children with this person, there may be children affecting this situation somehow, it says your love life is being affected by children. Now, what was I going to say earlier, some of you, there may be, I don't know if there is new romance around you but those were in reverse and i feel like for some of you there may be an aries here that maybe doesn't want you to move on but let's see because i'm also looking at the chariot at the bottom of this deck and look what's right behind the chariot the queen of pentacles so let's get a kipper card I don't know if um, you have a legal situation going on with this Aries. Oh, look at that. Sudden wealth flying out there. Hmm. And privileged lady at the bottom of the deck. So you've got bad health, main female, and change. Hmm. So let's see what's going on between my Virgos and this Aries. Oh, do excuse me, my stomach. It's doing the most. So give me some cards. My Virgos are dealing with an Aries. What is the problem here? What is the problem? Oh, I don't know. Is there a problem? Judgment in reverse. Oh. I'm hearing no bueno. What does that even mean? No bueno. Judgment in reverse. Four of swords coming out here. Show me more. Why is the judgment in reverse? Look at it stopping right back where I showed you at the very beginning. The chariot and the queen of pentacles. What's behind her? Wow. Oh, the empress and the knight of pentacles. Well, we saw that privileged lady. Now, this could be two different people, right? That Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Or it could be all your energy, right, Virgos? Somebody seeing you as that, like I said. So some of you, you may have children with this person. For some of you, this Aries, right? Like I said, this is a general reading. You could be dealing with a mother here. Maybe you're the mother to the Aries. Take it how it resonates with that Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. But with that Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like somebody here 
wants to come in and offer someone something here. But the knight is not moving. Hmm. And we do have the judgment in reverse. So show me why is the judgment in reverse here. Oh, my Virgo's dealing. Yeah, look at the knight of swords. Okay. Four of swords. Why is the four of swords here? Thank you. The hermit. Which is your energy? The judgment and the knight of swords. Clarify. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, the ace of cups. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I was thinking, right? I feel like somebody here wants to come in. I feel like this Aries may want to come in and make you some kind of offer here. But like I said, the judgment is in reverse. For some of you, there is no going back. There is, for some of you, definitely have made up your mind that there is no reconciliation here for you, right? And it could also be telling me here with the judgment in reverse that also the universe is not in favor of this, right? Now, this could make this Aries angry, Right, with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about challenging information. Maybe you said something. Maybe you did something, right, with the Knight of Swords. Maybe this is somebody who wants to come in and fight for this um, with the Ace of Cups here, right? Now, the Ace of Cups could be telling me that, hey, maybe some of you are not entertaining this Aries anymore because maybe you found new love, right? The Ace of Cups can talk about new love. It can also, thank you, Spirit. It can also talk about self-love. Some of you are... You've got to this point, Virgos, where, do you know what, you, you so know what you deserve, right? We saw that Queen of Pentacles to the Empress, right? That can talk about elevation. Um, that can talk about, do you know what, I know what I'm worth, right? I'm no longer just on the Queen of Pentacles status, right? I'm now sitting on Empress status. And for some of you... <laughs> Again, that energy I'm hearing no brain on, right? So I don't know. Someone comment down below what the hell that means. Um, it, it could just be the, the energy I'm getting from it. It could just mean um, that it's, it's, it's a no, right? No, finish. Finito, right? But you have the four of swords and the hermit. So it's either this is, clarify the four of swords and the hermit. Now the four of swords is a healing energy, right? Now maybe this person is in some kind of pain, heartache, something like that, right? Or maybe they just want to move to a peaceful place, right? A personal issue reaches resolution. Maybe this person is just trying to figure out how to do this fight with the hermit. The hermit is about going in and doing some deep introspection. Now, it could be with the hermit here that maybe some of you know some things about this Aries. Why it's just a no-go, right? The world card. The world card talks about, hey, it's the end of a chapter, it's time for something new, hence the Ace of Cups. Now, that is not going to be for everyone. Why is the world card here? It could be them just wanting a new chapter with you, right? The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about making a decision. Now, to me, the Two of Wands is also about an energy of seeing the bigger picture of something, right? Maybe somebody here has had some kind of an epiphany. I don't know. Making a decision. Now, there could also be distance here between you and this Aries with the Two of Wands and the World card here. Maybe that is just an issue um, between you and an Aries, right? Look at that at the, at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Cups. This is somebody coming in with that offer, right? Wanting to take things to the next level. Wanting things to move from the level that they're at. But the Two of Pentacles, very indecisive, right? Unsure about how to do this unsure about what steps to take here and there's the Aries energy what's behind the emperor the magician the chariot and the queen of pentacles so this person looks like they're trying to manifest some kind of a way to come back towards you here right to be able to come back into your life with the chariot but the queen of pentacles there's that empress and there's that knight of pentacles and then there's the death card So show me going forward, because I see this sudden wealth here. Oh, my stomach. Oh, the four of wands in reverse. The eight of wands in reverse. Wow. All right, show me. Oh, the death card. Oop. 
Uh, show me more. I did eight of wands in reverse. The ten of cups, the tower. What's the eight of wands in reverse and the ten of cups? Getting stuck with the queen of pentacles. All right, so in the high priestess with the queen of swords and the page of cups. I don't know. Virgos, Aries, whoever is in here. Uh, with this sudden wealth, I get this energy of this Aries kind of looking at you as the better option. But the better option of what? Right? They could have a situation around them here um, that may be crumbling with that tower, right? I don't know if this Aries is married or you're married to this person. Um, or they have a Scorpio around them, heavy Scorpio energy here with the Tower and the Death card, right? And the Four of Wands in reverse. See, for some of you, they may have, I don't know, chosen somebody else or um, they may be in a situation, right? Like I said, because it's falling apart, all of a sudden, Virgo looks like good news, right? The Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, maybe you are really good news to this person, right? I'm not knocking them. But what I'm saying is that they are kind of, it kind of feels like they only kind of realizing that after some kind of tower moment around them, right? Um, but you have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So some of you may have this person blocked. Maybe they can't communicate with you. Maybe it's just an energy where they can't come towards you, right? You are not allowing it here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's no forward movement here. So it may... <laughs> All right, let's say it in a nicer way. I'm hearing, you know what? You made your bed. You have to lie in it, right? The Tower. The Four of Wands in reverse. There's no stability here. Something is definitely crumbling around this person, or this is you, Virgo, right? Whether it be between the two of you, or whether you be external to this. There's definitely a tower moment going on here that is going to bring some kind of endings um, to somebody's life here. Um, I hope not. Let me, sh yeah. Yeah, it's going to cause somebody to have some kind of transformation, right? So... Let's get a card from Mother Mary. Because, you see, someone it kind of looks like, especially with that judgment in reverse, right? Somebody is going to have a tower moment. Endings, things coming to an end around them. While somebody, Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, so it could be very well be you, Virgos. While somebody goes on to be happy... Now, it could also be that maybe if you have family with this Aries, right, they may be reminiscing on some good times that maybe you guys had, especially if it included the children. There are children in this card, right? But again, the Eight of Wands in reverse says, hmm, no forward movement. Some of you, you don't even want to communicate with this person. All right, Mother Mary. What do we have for Virgos dealing with an Aries? Thank you. Wow, two. Oh, look, the marriage card came out. So someone here I feel like is married, right? I'm not sure for how long though, <laughs> that tower and that death. Hmm. Right, so it says, I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. So maybe this is the energy that the Aries is in, right? But again, it's that energy of, is it too little, too late? Especially if they're kind of having that attitude and kind of looking at you, saying, hey, I made a decision, right? I want to be with Virgo. But Virgo's like, well... Why? Or why now? I don't know. This time it looks, feels like he knows something about this Aries. Now, whether you have spoken it out or not, I don't know. Because your next card is quiet. 
It says I go into a peaceful silence and I listen. And that is what the hermit is. So there could be some things that I'm saying here about this Aries that you guys already know. You already knew this. You just haven't said anything. Let's get an angel card. Oh, that goes to him with. Okay, that's a lot. That goes dealing with an Aries. Thank you. Give me one card. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Safina. Is that how you say it? It says, I am the angel of families. <laughs> I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Hmm. Somebody hiding a child? <laughs> Somebody about to have a baby? I don't know. I see that four of wands in reverse, that tower, and that death. Was there some bad news about a child? Let's leave it there. I don't know. All right. So that's if you were dealing with an Aries. Now, again, guys, my information is always down below. These are general, right? If you want to go deeper into your own situation with somebody, that is the best way to do that, is to get a personal reading. Right, so let's see. We are now moving on to Sagittarius. My Virgo's dealing with a Sag. Where are we at? Let's say 32. So Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius spirit. What is the energy between the two? Oh, wounded. I just see Ray. Someone here may be feeling wounded. Okay. I'm also hearing the word disappointment. What about goes dealing with a Sagittarius? What is the energy? Show me. Oh, that's too many. The energy is gaining momentum and take time to breathe out. Give me one card. My Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know if it's you or the Sagittarius, but I feel like somebody here needs to get some rest. Maybe you've been doing a lot. Oh, step out of your comfort zone. So we have this once already today. Always brings the element of fear for me, right? One card for my Virgos dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you. So you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ah, so someone could be waiting for the right time here to approach someone to say something. Give me one card. Thank you. Occupation. Mm, I told you somebody here may be working too hard or needs some rest here. Occupation. Now, for some of you, this could be a Sagittarius that you work with, right? Doesn't have to be. Um, it's also giving me this energy of somebody thinking about somebody while they are at work here. Yeah, because now I'm hearing who I don't even I can't remember which one who which artist sings it, but I'm hearing baby, I've been missing you. Someone, okay. The Knight of Wands as a part of the deck. <laughs> Maybe thinking about you lustfully, or this could just be somebody who's wanting to rush in, right? Um, but the Knight of Wands is also an immature energy. <laughs> Look, the Knight of Swords <laughs> wanting to rush in, right? But let's see. I feel like someone has something to say, but... What is the energy between my Virgos and this Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Oh, the death card in reverse. So this is not over. Some of you may think it is a death card in reverse. 
Now, the death card in reverse, we did see that Knight of Wands, right? So this could also be telling me here that somebody hasn't changed, right? Or is being very stubborn here. But let's see, because we have the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups talks about somebody crying over spilt milk. Somebody in a sad energy. What is the death in reverse? to fall on the floor hold on oh, the two of swords now the two of swords can talk about being at a crossroads the two of swords could tell me that somebody has somebody blocked here right there's no communication the two of swords can say that somebody wants to do something but they're fighting this right i don't want to I don't want to make this decision. I don't want to see. I don't want to say. I don't want to. Defensive. What is the five of cups? I almost wanted to say in reverse. So I feel like some of you, you may resolve this situation. Hey, Raven. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody feels like they're sad over you here, thinking about you, right? What is the death in reverse and the two of swords? What is the death in reverse and the two of swords? Thank you, show me. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this Sagittarius is very much thinking very heavy about you, right? It's almost like, give me one more. It's almost like they don't want something to be over. Show me more. The Nine of Pentacles. Why is she here? The Nine of Wands. There's that wounded warrior, right? The Nine of Wands, but it's in reverse. To me, the Nine of Wands in reverse is somebody who feels like I almost want to say like something is hopeless. What is the point? One more on this nine of wands in reverse. Because in the upright, it will tell me that, hey, somebody, yeah, maybe they're feeling down and out, right? Maybe they're feeling like the wounded warrior. But you know what? They still got a little bit of energy in them to keep fighting. I just get this energy that somebody, this Sagittarius may feel like this situation is hopeless. And that's the truth, the Ace of Swords. Almost like they would feel like it would be hopeless, I keep using that word, to reach out to you and say something. I also feel like this is somebody who is hiding... ...that they are hurting... Is kind of, I think, how I want to put it. What is this Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? The Three of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. One more. Judgment. Yeah. Five of Wands. See, like I said, I get this energy when I saw the occupation. I feel like somebody here very much thinks about reconciliation or celebrating with you or just having some good times with you, even while they're at work. So I'm not saying, I mean, it could be someone here who is finding it a little bit difficult to concentrate or they just, you know, keep finding themselves that their mind keeps wandering back to you. Now, the judgment here is talks about reconciliation. I feel like they think about reconciliation. Like I said, with the Three of Cups, right? Reunited and it feels so good. Happy times. Three of Cups is about celebrating, having fun, partying. Five of Wands and the Sun card, but yeah, I don't know. The Queen of Wands, they may be having some issues here with other people, right? I, I don't feel like it's major issues. It may be, but I just feel like this is bickering, 
mood swings, you know, picking fights kind of an energy. So let's see going forward. Let's see going forward. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius. And it wanted to fall on the floor. The Five of Swords and the Lovers. Five of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. Wow, the Emperor and the Five of Cups. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, wow, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. See, there may have been something that happened to you between you and this Sagittarius, right? Whether this was something that somebody said here with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be a very tick for tack energy, right? Almost wanted to say a smart mouth. But this is somebody who, I, I want to say... Speak now, regret later kind of an energy, right? The Five of Swords, somebody feeling like they were smart. Five of Swords is an energy of somebody saying something, doing something to get a certain reaction. And almost feeling a little bit smug about it. But then we have the Four of Cups. So initially feeling again, you know, it's that energy I say, right, with the Five of Swords. Um, it may have seemed like a victory at the time, but usually... It's regret later. And that is what the Four of Cups is. For somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity here. Now, for some of you, this could have been a love relationship with the lovers here. Right? For some of you, this may even have been somebody who juggled you with the Two of Pentacles. Or it's just that Two of Pentacles where somebody's very much questioning themselves now. We have the Emperor out here. This could have been somebody who overdid their control. This could have been someone who liked control. Let's get some advice. All right, Mama Mary, what do we have? <laughs> I just got the two cats just staring at me <laughs> outside. Ray and Raven. <laughs> And some of you, this could have even just been a good friend, right? Because when I think about the cats, one is mine and one is next door's. And they're, they're both males, you know. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, you'll see them get along and sometimes, you know, they kind of um, don't. <laughs> and it's kind of reminding me of the reading. But they kind of always still kind of look out for each other. I don't know. Ray and Raven. Give me a card. My Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Mother Mary. It looks like it's going to be a really nice day, Virgo. So, depending on where you are, right? Try and make the best of it if you can. Get out, even if it is just sitting in your garden. Just try and embrace some of the fresh air and the sunlight and things like that, right? You'd be surprised how much the earth gives back. I don't know who needed to hear that. <laughs> Just looking at the sun and I'm thinking, mm, it's like a really nice day. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> oh, quiet. This came out already. It says, I go into a peaceful silence and I listen. So unless this is just a fire energy thing, let's get one more just in case. Thank you, Mother Mary. So again, maybe this person had to go in, right? And realize some things here. We've got the Four of Cups out here and the Five of Cups. One more. Sorry. Thank you, Mother Mary. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> they say what they say, right? You have another quiet card. <laughs> And it says severity. My clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. 
So let's get an angel card for my Virgos that are dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What is the energy here? Oh, they're flying all over the place. What did we get? Hold on, Virgos. Aha, uh -huh, you got Francesca. And it says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So it's even this case of even if this person wanted to reunite with you, right? They wanted to reach out. They wanted to say something. Well, this is you, Virgo. Take it out of resonance, guys. Spirit saying, well, okay. Now you've identified that is what you want to do. What are the actions that are you going to take towards that? Are you going to step out of your comfort zone and actually reach out to this person? Or is somebody going to sit here in self-pity? Just watching the options pass them by. Just watching this person disappear into thin air. Someone has a choice here to make. A choice that maybe they don't want to make. I don't know. There's a lot of twos here. Well, not a lot. It's in two of pentacles, a two of swords. Decisions. It's almost like I'm hearing speak now or forever hold your peace. There goes cross watchers. That's what I have for you. Stay safe, love and light, guys.